Hi uh, guys, I've just made a news video and leaving you with new Arconets, new Pro, a new Plasma, a new Arco install. And I'm going to show you what I'll do for the next coming years, probably. Right? And that's I'm going to use the ISO that's now on AAG, which is now here, Arconet. And I'll see right how long will this work or do i need to go to uh, arch at some point in time or decide something completely different right everything is open but can i use the latest arconet with all the changes so the arch linux logo and all that right not the arco linux can I use this ISO for the coming week, months, years? Choose whether I'm on NVIDIA or Intel or AMD. In this case, it's gonna be this one. Boot up, do an XFC4 installation offline. Get ChatWM later, after rebooting. And get the Arconix Nemesis script and run them and just stay rolling, right? Because once it's installed, there's no need to reinstall, actually. You can fix things, remove things, but the reinstallation is fine, it's fun, but it's not needed, right? That's why Arch is a rolling distribution. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do if and when I'd like to do a clean install, I'm gonna use the Arconet. And then use the easy installation offline. This will always break. I've made tons of videos about why online will break. This will work. Install system deboot recommended will work. Because we don't need the internet. There are no Pac-Man keys. No servers going down, nothing, any of that. Conflicts between packages, I mean, the lot. You choose whatever you like. Basically on a machine, I'll probably use this. Although I don't use Hibernate, which is actually strange then. Huh? Enough memory, surely. 32, I think is the minimum on my machines. And I would recommend guys, 64 would be better next time around certainly on windows and there you go install install now so that's the first procedure first step is arconet this iso the last iso it will stay there on uh, sourceforge forever cetos is gonna go cetos is paid by you with the donations right so it has to go from the first of july onwards but SourceForge is free, we can keep it there. And um, first step is download from there, USB, Arconet, offline installation, what you get, this. What you see is what you get, this is what you're gonna get. And that's the thing, why did I create the ISOs? Well, it's now the way it should be, right? It has the two repos down here, it has the Kilter KOR and it has the three arches. At some point in time, I'll remove probably these two guys and that's it. Let's wait and take our next step together. All right, we can continue our video. So first step, Arconet, offline. What you see is what you get. We have too many kernels in my eyes right choices as usual and um, we can remove them we can install new ones because chaotic AOR is there xenmod can be installed xenanver can be installed uh, lots more then we update the system this is after the installation right update you see that from the ISO immediately everything is set okay straight away the right order of things that's your pacman your package manager 
that's done. You see, nothing new, well, basically nothing from Arclex, but from Arch, Arch, Arch. So, um, next thing I do is probably get chat up there, right? Get step two. I like XFC, it needs to be there as a backup for ChatWM. I will log into ChatWM. So, NSDMK, I'm gonna say session to log into is not XFC anymore, it's gonna be ChatWM. Control X, yes, please. So that's done, right? Next time around, I'll log into ChatWM as Eric. This is finished. Control X, log out, and I'll go to ChatWM. So these are the choices. Wayland, don't go there, not yet. Maybe sometime in the future. Don't wanna see this, don't wanna see that. The conky needs to go, Control C, uh, sorry, Super C, Control T, terminal is here, and then it's the nemesis, right? Get nemesis on Arglex. Bunch of scripts that will help me install anything I like on anything, right? Check out the readme, so Control Alt F. Probably something I'm gonna keep updating, right? Because it's a personal thing, it has nothing to do with Arcanlex per se, but yeah, it's all interlinked, intertwined. But take a look at the text. It's made for any of these, these distributions. That's all Arch, but easily can be applied to all of these as well, right? And even this guy. So basically after, yeah, it's the Pycom that we need to kill. Control Alt O makes everything nice again. Pycom in VirtualBox seems a bit strange these days. And now we say zero, go for it. Current choices. Do you want to install JetWM? No, because it's there already, right? And off it goes and I'll just keep it running and keep it updating. And here I, I make my decisions, right? I don't need the Broadcom driver, don't need the Realtek driver. And I think I'm gonna lose a kernel as well, if I recall correctly. It's all about choices. You put your choices in scripts. I've made tons of videos about Nemesis scripts. It's important you learn how to script, right? Automate the installation. Choose whatever Linux is true, but automate things afterwards. Here's the Zen headers and the Linux Zen is going out. We're gonna go for the Linux kernel and also the Linux headers. We can sit back and wait. The, the essence has been set. There is the super D that's gonna change. More and more applications will be installed, right? More and more things will come into the list because that's what we want, right? You install the things you like and you remove the things you don't like. And here is the remove software. And here is the install from Nemesis, the install from Arclix, the install from Core, which is Arch, right? And this, we don't use this, we don't use that. This, I think we use if we say yes to ChatWM. And we don't need this because Bluetooth is already installed. Cups is not installed, I think. So maybe I'd run that if I want to print, right? But virtual machine, so nope, doesn't matter here. But everything, well, everything you could possibly want to script probably has some kind of code already in here. So take a look at all the contents. And this is the end of the video. Cheers.